So let's talk about coal. Yeah, that black gritty stuff you might think is a relic of the past. But here's the thing, coal is still a huge deal and it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. So let's dive into why coal is so essential, how it's used and why it's still a backbone of our world, even with all the debates around it. First, a quick bit of history. Coal's been around forever. Well, at least since the Industrial Revolution kicked off in the 1700s. Back then, it powered steam engines, factories, and basically got the modern world rolling. Coal mining was tough, dangerous work, and it still is, but it built towns, economies, and industries. Fast forward to today, and coal's still a major player, even if it's not the star of the show, like it used to be. But not all coal is the same. There are a few main types, and each has its own job. First up, you've got lignite, sometimes called brown coal. It's soft, kind of crumbly, and burns fast. It's mostly used for power plants because it's cheap and easy to get, but it's not the cleanest. Then there's bituminous coal, the most common type. It's harder, burns hotter, and it's what you'll find in a lot of industrial uses. Next is anthracite, the rock star of coal. It's super hard, burns super clean, and it's used for things like heating homes or in specialized industries. And finally, there's possibly the most essential of them all, metallurgical coal or coking coal, which we'll get to in a sec because it's a big deal for, you guessed it, making steel. So why is coal still so critical in today's day and age when medias often make it sound like it's such a prehistoric thing? Well, for starters, it's a major player in electricity. About 20% of the world's electricity still comes from coal, especially in places like China, India, and parts of the US. But where coal really shines is in steel making. Without coal, it would be impossible to produce the steel needed for bridges, skyscrapers, cars, or even wind turbines. But here's a crazy stat. To make one ton of steel, you need about 600 to 800 kilograms of coal, meaning roughly 60 to 80% of the process relies on it. Coal's not just fuel here, it's a chemical ingredient that pulls oxygen out of the iron ore to make pure steel. No coal, no steel, and no steel? Good luck building anything big or sturdy. Now, just because this is a mining channel, we don't have to sugarcoat things. Coal's got a lot of baggage. It's at the heart of some big political and environmental controversies. Burning coal pumps out CO2, sulfur dioxide, and other stuff that's obviously not so great for the planet. Climate change is often mentioned, and a lot of folks, let's say activists, scientists, even some politicians, claim we need to phase out coal to cut emissions. Some countries are pushing hard for renewables like solar and wind, and there's pressure to shut down coal plants. Yeah, we're looking at you, UK. On the flip side, coal communities and industries argue it's not that simple. Coal supports millions of jobs, and for some countries, it's the only affordable way to keep the power on and industries running. Plus, Finding a real replacement for coal in steelmaking? That's still a work in progress. Here's the reality. Coal's not going away anytime soon. Why? Because at this stage, it just can't be replaced by anything more efficient and more proven. Sure, renewables are growing, but they can't match coal's reliability for constant power in a lot of places. And steel? Like I said, we're nowhere near making it at scale without coal. The good news is, people are working on cleaner ways to use it. Carbon capture tech, better filters, and more efficient plants are making coal less dirty. It's not perfect, but it's progress. While coal may not be the hero of the energy story to a lot of people out there, it's definitely not the villain either. Coal is a practical necessity. We need steel for infrastructure, we need electricity for homes, and right now, coal's a big part of making that happen. Until we crack the code on affordable, scalable alternatives, coal's sticking around. Coal doesn't just power infrastructures, it also feeds communities. States like West Virginia, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, or Wyoming greatly depend on the black gold sitting under their feet. Coal doesn't just keep the lights on, it puts food on the table. Just a couple weeks ago, the US Department of Energy has designated metallurgical coal as a critical material. With the US relying heavily on domestic and allied sources like Canada and Australia, this designation highlights coal's irreplaceable contribution to economic and energy security. Germany, despite its push for green energy and criticism of coal, heavily relies on its vast lignite mines and has ramped up production due to limited sustainable alternatives. Meanwhile, countries like Indonesia take a quieter approach, focusing on output with massive operations like the Sangata mine, 
which churns out nearly 40 million tons of coal annually to meet global demand. Other major player in the global coal market, Australia is slowly shifting its focus to cleaner coal as mining companies such as BHP tend to close thermal coal operations such as Mount Arthur to focus on sites like Peak Downs with an average output close to 20 million tons per annum. In 2025, the global coal industry employs approximately 7 million people with a market size valued at $2.5 trillion. Global coal production reached a record 8.9 billion tons in 2023 with projections for 2025 indicating a slight decline of 0.3% to around 8.7 billion tons, driven by reduced demand in China and declines in the US and European Union. An estimate, though, offset by growth in India, forecasting a 3.1% increase to 1.37 billion tons. So, in other words, like it or not, coal is there to stay.